And now is a time when things are shifting. We're going to there's going to be a new world order out there, and we've got to lead it. And we've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to participate for the eighth time at this important meeting. The damage done to our economies and our societies by COVID-19, it also has to confront the repercussions of a dangerous clash between major global powers. History is truly at a turning point. We do not yet know the full extent and the systemic and structural changes which will happen. However, we do know that global energy systems, food systems and supply chains will be deeply affected. In times of crisis, the role of governments is more important and more relevant than ever. I wish you an impactful and successful meeting. Peace and stability are critical for continued economic progress and to secure a brighter future for generations to come. We may have disagreements, but resolving them in a battlefield is not the right way to do it. We have not lost our focus even today with all what is going on. It's tough, it's rough, but we can never lose our sight our future. Swiftly when the pandemic hit and I promise you we are there for our members who need us now. The old traditional financial system that we've had is kind of broken. Well we already know the name of the new system of accounting it's called blockchain and the new system of money is digital money. And let's be totally engaged. Waiting is bad for the planet. Because technology is growing like this, so right, exponential, but we're growing like this. These days are the days and years of opportunities. Let's grasp this. Uh, I remember talking to an Australian diplomat at one point about this break between the U.S. and China and said, you know, both sides are going to say, whose team are you on? Mm -hmm. And he said, our job is to make sure the question never arises. But the question has arisen. And so I think we have to go deeper. And it's not about the U.S. versus China. It's about what underpins a world order is always the financial system. What underpins a world order is always the financial system. I, I was very privileged. My father was an advisor to Nixon when they came off the gold standard in 71. And so I was brought up with a kind of inside view of how very important the financial structure is to absolutely everything else. Of how very important the financial structure is to absolutely everything else. And what we're seeing in the world today, I think, is we are on the brink of a dramatic change where we are about to, and I'll say this boldly, we're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting and introduce a new one. And the new one, the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. It means having an almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy. It means having an almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. Uh, but also, this new money will be sovereign in nature. Most people think that digital money is crypto and private, but uh, what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first. The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. And the question is, will that new system of digital money and digital accounting accommodate the competing needs of the citizens of all these locations so that every human being has a chance to have a better life.
because that's the only measure of whether a world order really serves. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God 